Hello everybody and welcome back to some Nuclear Throne Ultra. We're jumping in again and we're going to be trying out another game mode. We're going to be giving, uh, which one did I enable? I can't even remember what it's called now. Uh, random spawns a go, which is going to be potentially pretty insane. Uh, so I'm going to give it a go. Um, I'm going to jump in as Weaponsmith for this one, I think. Uh, because with Weaponsmith... Oh wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Just, just, just pick anything. Go, go, go back. Do I not have double weapons unlocked for Weaponsmith yet? I don't. Okay, I really need to do that, because then I can be able to just merge two golden weapons immediately and get something amazing. That would be, uh... That'd be pretty nice. That'd be pretty nice. But we'll, we'll, we'll just jump in as him so, uh, straight away so far. Boom. Uh, yeah, so we... Random spawns. So we don't really know what we're going to come across here. Um... I'm guessing this like, still some semblance of what floor things should be on, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, what the hell? That was just a random bit of decor. Okay, we've got some random enemies here. I don't even know what this guy is. I don't think I've seen that dude before. Interesting. Um... Always plus one tier when upgrading. Increase upgrade tier maximum. Hold active on weapon mods to re-roll them. Can be done once per weapon mod. Hold active on weapon mods to re-roll them. I don't know how that works exactly. And some generators on the walls. I like the way that they've randomized some of the decor as well. Decor? Decor? How do you want to say it? Um, it looks good. I'm waiting for a better, a better tier weapon to, to merge this with. Dude, stop giving me quality zero stuff. I just want anything that's quality one or above. That's all I'm looking for. Quality zero is not good enough. We do like this character. We do like what he has to offer. I'm liking having eagle eyes with this as well. Certainly helping out. You need to chill out, guy. You're too fast. You're too fast. Now, remember, this guy has an insane amount of explosive shots. He does not stop. We're doing alright so far, though. Things are going well. Not a bad start to an episode. Not seeing as many random spawns as I would have thought, but that's probably for the best, because I think I'd die if I did. If there was tons of random spawns or everything was random, I would probably be dead. I expected it to be like every single thing would be randomized, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Right, finally a weapon I can merge with. Um, we'll go with flexible. Auto grenade launcher. Only tier 7, but... In fact, I say only tier 7, but it's, it's just not very good, is it? Okay, we've got a crystal there. It's kind of like being on loop when you just get enemies spawning extra on top of areas. We got Cuba Revolver. Remember, we always get plus one TF from our throne button we uh, merge, so that's going to be really good for us. Um, I don't know what to go for here, to be honest. I guess I'm going to do a power craving to make our weapon mods a bit better, considering we preserve them through, um, through weapon merging. I think that makes sense. This is a lot. This is a lot to pay attention to. Luckily, I'm still alive. Cuba Revolver allows us to shoot through walls as well, which is nice. Um, Spla Splasmagon? Um... I think I'm actually okay with what I've got going on right now, to be honest. Ah, it's this weapon. I remember this one. This weapon's not bad, although I will definitely grab Herming. Right, grab that. Got the Electro Crossbow. And then we've got the Assault Flugger. 
Right, projectile speed. Yes, that's the one we want to replace. Thank you. Bit of herming on it. Never hurt anyone. Uh, it goes very, very nicely with the um, herming from Eagle Eye anyways. Go with impact wrists here. Yeah, things are looking good. We're starting to see some of the harder enemies appear. There was an ultra bird there, which is definitely not what you want to see. We got ourselves the super needle. Oh, damn, okay. A melee weapon that could be quite good for us, but I'm going to keep randomizing. We got the Fraser. Eh. We got ourselves the pop disperse gun. Oh, it's this thing. Yeah, th this thing isn't that good, but with shotgun shoulders, it kind of goes hard. It's one of those weapons that's like, it it's good enough, definitely. For, th for this early on, it's definitely good enough. We got a lightning SMG here. Okay. We'll keep that in our back pocket for when we want to switch out weapons. But for right now, this thing's doing a reasonably good job. So let's 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 keep it around. Up to level seven. I think we're sticking with the mods we got. I'll take extra herming though. There you go, there's extra herming right there. More herming I can get the better, I think. Oh, <laughs> it's put one of those on the floor. It's kind of weird. Right, let's switch it up. We got ourselves the slash eraser here. Lovely. Nice. We really need shotgun shoulders, to be honest. That would go very, very well with the sort of stuff we've been getting recently. Is this the whole area? Seriously? So tiny. Oh, no, there's, I guess there's another area down here. I was very, very confused for a minute there. That was a really, really tiny area. I guess I'll go through here as well. I always find this area quite hard, but I choose to come here quite a lot anyways, though. Can't really explain why. I, I, to be fair, I do like this area. It's so off-key for what you'd expect from the mod and, and the game and stuff that I, I quite like it. <laughs> it doesn't really fit the theme, but that's a good thing. Eat the mushroom. In a piece, obviously. But yeah, now we're at a point where we only really want to merge weapons when we either run out of ammo or just fancy something new. Otherwise, we can just kind of stick with what we got going on. Right, you should be a piece of piss. Unless we run out of ammo, like I just said. What do we get here? Heavy minigun. Okay. That seems pretty scary. I mean, the amount of herming we have on it, actually, is it's, it's pretty goddamn good. I'm just very, very worried about the ammo consumption levels of this thing. Especially when I don't have a secondary to merge into anything. We got ourselves the um, Disperse Grenade Launcher. Oh, God. Disperse Grenade Launcher sounds... Goddamn horrific. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's uh, that's not something we're going to want to keep for long, because we are going to kill ourselves with that. Hypersomnia, as I've mentioned. It's it's pretty amazing, I'll say. It's pretty goddamn amazing. I don't think I've seen it before, which is always fun. But, in terms of us staying alive, don't think it's the best idea. Golden Disc and really? Really? That's what you're giving me? That's uh, that's a bit offensive, to be honest. We get ourselves... Oh, dude. Okay, so that's a little bit stupid. So if, if you're tr wondering what the hell just happened there, what happened is my weapon got up to tier 17. So my next tier upgrade was 18, but tier 18 is what, the go what a lot of the golden weapons are, so it upgraded into a golden weapon, but clearly the developer has made it so that golden weapons don't, even though they're higher tier, in terms of weaponsmith, they don't actually upgrade to higher, because otherwise you just get really, really crazy stuff right off the start. So I managed to downgrade my tier by a ton 
just by accidentally upgrading into a golden weapon, which is a bit, a bit sad. It is what it is, but not what I was looking for. Right, let's have a look see here. In every area, weapon mod spawns, double weapon mod effectiveness, combining a weapon adds a mod to it. Um, increase weapon pickup range, you drop weapons at your feet. Dropping a weapon makes you immune for a short duration and release uh, and reloads both your weapons. Portal spit out new random weapon upon a new floor. When you upgrade a weapon, you also gain two armor. Ooh. Damn, that's pretty good. Increase reload speed and reduce ammo cost for all weapons, excluding melee. Um, your active becomes... Uh, we, we've seen this one before. Change your weapon into one of the same tier. You can cycle through all available. All weapon dr drops give you health, rads, and more ammo for all weapon types. Picking up a weapon spawns lightning. I'm going to go with the... Um, I don't know, but it's between these two. I'm going to go with this one, but the, the reduced ammo cost seems very, very useful for us right now. We got ourselves double mini plasma rifle. You see, see, there's just... We, we've downgraded our tier so much, it's kind of sad. I picked up throwing butt for a reason, and I've been betrayed. Where's my red chest? Don't know. Don't know. We got ourselves the energy lands this time around. Okay. There's a lot of enemies in here for some reason, which is weird. Like, even for randomized enemies, this is still very odd to see. Toxic rare. We got ourselves up to the scythe gun. That's what we're going with here. So we've got to hope the scythe gun has enough damage in it to uh, help us out here. It should do. Dude, kill, kill this thing. Why aren't you- why is this not dying? There you go. Oh no, we're gonna run out of ammo here, aren't we? That we are. And the ammo's really hard to get to, god damn it. <laughs> this has been weird. <laughs> this has been weird. So we, we want to be getting thrown butt right off the bat again. The thrown butt... Oh, cool, look at that. The thrown butt clearly was a huge help to us, but we got kind of shafted by it a little bit. So I think even if it's quality zero, we just take it and go for it. Splinter pistol. I think that's actually worse than the weapon we just had, but... hey -ho. Um, again, I kind of want to go for Power Craving, I think that was very helpful last time, having the extra mods and the extra effectiveness from those mods, considering we've got a lot of them going on with this guy. I think it makes a lot of sense. Got the Jaw Crusher, pretty early on to get a weapon of that calibre, but that is not a complaint. Could definitely go with some Shotgun Shoulders right now. But it's time to upgrade. And we got ourselves the Charge Hammer. We got ourselves the Laser Crash. Ooh, Laser Crash is not very good, but can be very good when you get it with uh, Eagle Eyes. I think as it is, it's kind of... It, it's, it's okay. It's not bad. Ow. Heavy blood. We still don't have thrown, but so we're not getting consistent upgrades with our uh, thingies here. We're still only, like just stuck on tier eight, pretty much. I need that thrown, but please. Shotgun shoulders, though. I'll take it if we get ourselves a shotgun again. It'll be very nice to have. Something we can stick with for a little bit. I really like this weapon. Ammo efficiency is uh, kind of down the shitter. 
but it's a fun weapon. Seeing some of those randomized enemies now. I actually quite like this uh, this random enemy uh, thing going on because it's not over the top at all. Still no throwing, but I'm gonna say it's not over the top at all. Like the, the levels are still manageable. It just adds a bit more variety to each stage. This might be something that I use reasonably often in terms of game modes to like play around with. Cause it's just nice to have that. Every now and again, there's a few different enemies on the stage to what you're used to. Keeps your guard up a little bit. Throws you off. Right. Oh, where we go? Uh, I wanted that bullet popper. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There you go. Oh, there's like random enemies in here as well. That's kind of funny. They're just chilling. It seems that they spawn as extra, like, in addition to. That's why we saw, like, in the actual uh, throne fight. That's why there's a bunch of extra enemies. They don't spawn uh, to replace the existing enemies. It's not like it randomizes the existing enemies. It just adds on a few extra spawns of any kind to the area. Let's go with that, shall we? The nail shotgun. Come along. Where's my throne butt at? Just not getting it, are we? Just not getting it. Heavy club. This turtle shotgun doesn't fire turtles at all. The biggest disappointment ever. I thought it was going to fire turtle shells. Thunderstrike. Whoa, that's cool. That's a pretty low tier for a weapon like that as well. I kind of like it, to be honest. The delayed fire with shotgun shoulders doesn't matter to me. Put shotgun on it. Why not? For a, for a tier 2 weapon with shotgun shoulders, it's clearly proving to be very, very good. Inverted dragon. Hello, hello. It's quite delayed, by the way. Like, it's obviously hard for you guys to know one when I press the trigger, but the delay is pretty noticeable. But it's it's interesting. I like it. We do like a good old bit of weaponsmith. But yeah, you, you really want to be getting thrown, but like super, super early on as this guy. Because it's... I think he's probably got one of the best thrown butts. Ion Cannon. I really don't like the ion cannons. I think it's just because of the delay makes it like, hard to sort of... As I was just kind of saying with that shotgun, it didn't matter as much because I had shotgun shoulders, but the delay just makes it kind of difficult to, to organize yourself in a way. See, now that's, that's a little easier to organize even with the delay. That was nice. We got ourselves a splinter spear launcher. Lovely. No throne but here. Still gonna take power craving. As I said with this character, I just think it works. There's a little bit of uh, seaweed in here. A little bit unnatural. This area seems like it could be really fucked for like custom spawns and stuff. I need to find the weapon chest pretty fast here because uh, what I've got right now isn't really cutting it. Thank God for him teleporting all the enemies away from me there. Double flame director shotgun seems really, really good. Whereabouts is the actual boss, though? My big question right now. Where are you? <laughs> I've literally just walked right past him, apparently. There you go. Finally found him. Oh, they teleports away again. You, fella, are very frustrating. Right, cool. We're through. And next we'll be able to pick up our throne butt. Because we get to choose. That's why I came here. 
If we survive, that is. The survival aspects of, uh, of this area is always a little iffy. Explosive crossbow, you say? This thing right now is doing me a, a, t a top job, so I don't want to mess with it. Yeah, there you go. Look, easy kill on that guy. Herming. Hello, hello. We like Herming. Right. We can go? Cool. So, we take throwing butt to start with, wherever that is. There it is. And we merge, and we get ourselves quadruple flame shotgun. Ooh. That guy was... That was kind of close. Okay. We're building it. We're, we're there. Build it and they shall come. Doesn't really apply to this conversation, but I said it anyways. Hyper Bouncer Rifle. Our tier goes up once again. Get out of here, you. H how are you still alive? Come on now. Right, there we go. And then our second one, our second one, what do we go for here? Probably Eagle Eyes, I reckon. I think Eagle Eyes just, for, we got the double herming on this thing already. We're sort of rebuilding what we had before with all the herming. And that's kind of fun. Cool, cool. We can go boom. And we get the Skull Breaker. Interesting. We get ourselves the Schlocker. Also pretty good. Go with that Hypersomnia as always. Take a Hypersomnia a lot more at the minute, but it's just proving to be good. So why mess with something that's working? We got ourselves the Swarm Bomb here. Hmm, nice. That's a lot of swarms, baby. And they have some hefty herming. And we got ourselves the Scythe Disperser Gun. Decent, decent. Where's our last remaining enemies? Then we've got ourselves the Super Toxic Cannon. Which seems... I don't know about the Super Toxic Cannon. This seems like something I could easily kill myself with, doesn't it? <laughs> Both can and most probably will. It's an interesting idea. It's an interesting idea, I'll give you that, but... God damn. Oh, really? God damn. I was going to say I need to get rid of it. Gatling Lightning Crossbow. Holy shit, a Gatling Lightning Crossbow is, uh... That's a lot of lightning to be throwing out there. But I've got to keep going. Black Hole Generator, baby. Ooh. We got ourselves the Splashing Cannon. This thing, but the Cannon version. We've seen this before. We've not seen the cannon one, I don't think. And then we've got the Wonderstrass. Oh, it's this thing. Yes, I like this thing. Pretty wacky. Um, take that. <gasps> More Herming. Holy shit, we got the three times Herming. I also got the Ultra Charge Burr. What we get here? Super Blood Rocket, something or other. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's strong. We got ourselves the Splinter Storm. Oh my god. Where's all the electricity coming from? Getting a lot of electricity, but I don't have anything on my weapon that adds electricity, so... I'm not entirely sure. I've got to keep going, though, don't I? What's the limit? I think 21. Super Energy Shank Gun. Oh, man. I think 21 is our highest level, but... Super Energy Shank Gun seems, uh... Seems fitting. 
Seems scary, but it seems fitting. My god, okay, dude. You do not want to land on me. You're gonna be asleep for the first two seconds anyways, man. Yeah. Had a feeling that might kill you. Ultra Blood Rifle. Only thing I think this requires rads, which at the minute we're not max level, so we don't want an ultra weapon, really. Ultra Suck Cannon. Ultra Assault Rifle. Okay, we finally got up to another tier, though. Okay, it's, it's literally only Ultra stuff left now, I think. That's all we're getting. This is just an Ultra Flamethrower, right? Yeah. Oh! Super Energy Shotgun. Oh my god, that's amazing. I like that. Oh, hello. Inverted Cheshire Cat, how are you? This has to kill you pretty fast, right? You'd think. It did. And so it was sir. So. Still don't know where all these little swarms and stuff are coming from. Oh, actually, it's because I got a swarm on there, that's why. Uh, energy brain, I'll take it. Also, this is burst, so at tail's end, this would be even crazier. What a wild weapon to get. It's kind of a horrible weapon to get at the same time, though, because it uses so much ammo per shot. Like, every shot kind of feels risky. If I don't make the most out of it, like, I'm going to completely waste my ammo sort of thing. Right, we got ourselves the heavy auto shotgun now. Ah. Ultra minigun. Had to be really quick there. Heavy blood hammer. Goddamn, Heavy Blood Hammer could be good. How much damage is this thing doing on average? The Hermie doesn't really affect it, though. Oh, dude. I'm so stupid. I forgot that Blood Hammers do damage to you if you don't hit anything. <laughs> oh, man. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.